I don't usually hold back when it comes to talking about my job, which was working security at the sub-level of a local hospital. You'd be surprised to know how common break-ins were at that place, which usually ended up being a couple of junkies trying to get high on some of the weird chemicals that were being kept in the labs. It started out as a regular graveyard shift at work, but I'll lead in with a curious backstory regarding the doors that led to the morgue. In order to keep the place more sanitized, they had recently installed sliding doors that would automatically open if someone passed in front of them, thus removing the need to touch any handles or doorknobs, and prevent anyone from leaving the doors open by accident. Hygiene played a major role at that morgue, and it had been on the agenda for the past few months. There wasn't anything really unique about the sliding doors, except for the fact that they would sometimes open and close by themselves. That by itself didn't seem like such a big deal, since this could have been caused by something small such as a moth flying in front of the sensor. Until one night, I realized that it would always happen at the same time. Every night, at exactly 3am, the doors would open for a few seconds and then close. I was convinced that the doors had been programmed with some kind of time-based trigger, but when I contacted the company that installed the doors, they told me that it wasn't possible since the doors were designed only to open when the sensors were triggered or forced open manually. So it continued without any explanation for a long time after that and became sort of a ritual for me and my co-workers to watch the doors open and close on the monitors every night. Usually there would be at least two guards on duty, but that night I ended up working the graveyard shift by myself because the other security guard suddenly became ill and there wasn't enough time to find a temp who could fill in at such short notice. Just to be clear, I had been working as a security guard for a long time, so I was no stranger to danger and I wasn't worried about working alone at night. Besides, the work was pretty straightforward. All I had to do is make sure all the doors were locked and secured and keep a close eye on the monitors. There were only two cameras, one overlooking the control room and another one at the other end of the corridor overlooking the entrance to the morgue. As the clock approached 3am, I did what all the guards on duty would do, sit back and enjoy the show. Although the novelty of seeing this phenomenon had long worn off, it was still something I would anticipate and would often give me the chills, seeing how it was the entrance to the morgue and that you could sense a sudden rush of cold air every time the doors would open, even from the other end of the corridor. I watched patiently as the doors opened followed by the howling rush of cold air that could be heard from under the door. It was when I glanced away from the door and looked to the monitors that I noticed something strange. The doors remained open. At first I thought it might be a glitch with the monitor and I was simply looking at a frozen frame, but then I saw the lights flicker. I waited for a few minutes, but it soon became clear that I would have to head on down to the end of the corridor since it was strictly prohibited for the doors to the morgue to remain open. As I stepped out into the corridor, I acknowledged a significant drop in temperature which I knew was going to get considerably worse as I approached the morgue. I gradually made my way down the corridor and turned the corner that ultimately led me to the sliding doors. I had hoped that the doors might have closed by the time I got there, but just as I had seen on the monitor, the doors were in fact still open and the camera was functioning normally. I tried waving my hands in front of the sensor, but to no avail, the doors would not budge. I reluctantly contemplated my next option which was to test the sensors from the other side requiring me to enter the morgue, but I decided to take a look around first to see if I could observe anything out of the ordinary. Only when I turned my back to observe the corridor did the doors finally close, which was quickly accompanied by a cold chill in the air. I could feel an overwhelming sense of someone standing right behind me as the hairs on the back of my neck began to spike.
but it turned out to be more of the same eerie silence as before. Since the doors had already closed without having to actually enter the morgue, I considered myself fortunate and hurried back to the control room to make sure nothing else was out of place. I closed the door and locked it from the inside and for a moment I was expecting it to be business as usual as I sat back down in front of the monitors. But after taking a quick sip of my coffee, I realized the coffee was stone cold. Not just lukewarm as you would expect, but genuinely chilled. I hadn't been away from the desk for that long, so it didn't make much sense at all. But then I remembered that I had felt that same chill before at the other end of that corridor. Out of curiosity, I decided to rewind the security footage back to when I approached the doors to see if I could spot anything out of the ordinary, which is when I witnessed something that I simply couldn't explain. There was a girl standing in front of the doors behind me. I couldn't really make out a face due to her long black hair that was a stark contrast to the white gown she was wearing. She just stood there staring right at me and then walked towards the exit. To this day, I can't explain it, because I had just been there and I hadn't seen anyone. It was when I checked the other camera overlooking the entrance to the control room that really sent a chill down my spine and still gives me nightmares to this day. When the lights came back on, it was as if nothing happened. The door to the control room was open despite being locked from the inside just moments before. Due to the mysterious power surge, most of the data on the drives had been completely corrupted. But some of the security footage did survive, and I've been holding on to it ever since. I guess now would be the time to ask yourself, do you believe in ghosts? Hey uh, folks, if you want to see the footage from the camera overlooking the entrance to the control room, please help this video reach 5,000 likes and I'll upload it to my Instagram account. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please share and subscribe if you haven't already and smash that like button. It helps tremendously and guarantees more content from this channel.